We already covered options, methods, and events, but I really want to dig a bit deeper into events, um, and we're going to learn a lot. So instead of telling you what we're going to learn in advance, let's talk about what you're actually going to be doing by the end of this video. So our goal by the end of this video is that, one, is to make sure that when we're moving around our controller, we'll be able to see more information about what is being changed, such as the X and Y coordinates that are being moved. We're going to learn also a little bit more deeply about how, to, how events work and a little bit more deeply about the events UI extra parameter in the function. So without further ado, let's jump in and start working. Now, the first thing that's problematic about our code right now is actually when we're dragging right now, because we use the function, we use the method drag, the drag method is being called every single movement. That means as we're moving this, it's being called plenty of times. Now, the way I know that is very simple. I can also show you how I know that. So, first of all, what I want to do is I want to add another line of code in our, in our code. And so, we're going to go into our code, and on our drag property, on our drag callback slash event, I'm going to add a code that says console.log, and I'm going to just type here, just here, for now. All right, and literally what I'm doing here is I'm basically telling the browser to log into the system and to log in the copy here. Now, the way for me to see it, and it really depends on the different browsers that you're working with, but if you're working in Safari as I am, then you're going to do it in one way. And if not, you really want to know how to do this. If you don't know how to do it, if it's in Firefox, you use Firebug. Every single browser has a different way of doing it, but the different browsers have developer tools or built in, or you have to download specific developer tools to be able to see this information. In Safari, as we saw in an earlier video, how we turned on the developer tools, now that the developer tools are on, you could go into the develop menu and just select show error console. Once you've set the show error console, now we're going to see any logging information that happens as our application is running. So I'm just going to refresh to get the latest code inside. And now you'll see once I start dragging, you'll see that these numbers are moving up. You see already 68, even though I only clicked twice. And literally, literally that 